Hey there, it's Jason Falls. I'm in my kitchen and I don't cook a lot, but when I do cook, it's usually pretty good. Today I'm cooking something really good. Johnsonville brats. I got the cheddar brats because they're awesome. Uh, normally I would uh, take regular brats and soak them in either uh, some sort of beer or maybe even a little bourbon uh, just to kind of loosen up the casing a little bit. Uh, give them a little flavor, but um, these are cheddar brats. They got cheese in them, so I'm not going to do that because they'll be nice and moist anyway. But I'm going to show you how I cook brats. How about that? Okay, we got the brats, a little tomato, a little green pepper, salt, pepper, and olive oil. That's all you really need. Buns and stuff later, but two pans. I'm going to put some olive oil in here, kind of saute the veggies, chop them up, put the brats in there. I'm going to fry them. Now, normally I would do this outside on the grill, but it's winter and it's cold and heck with that. No, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Got my peppers sauteing a little bit here. Give them a little head start. You just want to get them soft. I'll add the tomatoes in. Cook that up a little bit. And then I'll start the brats. I'm gonna season just with a little bit of salt and pepper here. There we go. Get a thingy here to stir those up. All right, there's our unwrapped brats. It's hard to do this and hold a camera. Should get Katie to come down here and help me. Screw it, I'm doing it with my fingers. Pan's not high yet. Give them some space. Make a little almost pie design. Here, look. Pie. In parentheses. All right, when that comes off the stove, put a little salt and pepper on it. Cover it up, keep it warm, and that'll be kind of a little homemade relish-ish. Peppers and tomatoes, salt and pepper. There's a little Jason Falls cooking trick. If you get them lined up in the pan like that, you can take one or two, prop them up on their sides so you get the paint part a little faster. Isn't that cool? All right, it's always hard to tell when brats are done. I like to look for little breaks in the casing where it's bubbling up a little bit. Make sure that's happening on all of them. Right now it's just happening on a couple. Right there. And right there. It needs to be happening on all of them and then I think they're pretty good. Obviously you want to make sure you don't put any pink on the side too. That's not good. But by now you should be in good shape. Alright. We're ready. Take these bad boys out, put them on buns. Got them plated. Take our little peppers and tomatoes. Put those on there. I gotta wait till he's done making the ketchup fart before I fill the eating part. I know. You done over there? All right, here we go. Johnsonville brats, cheese stuffed. Little peppers, little tomatoes. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm. That's some good stuff. Excuse me while I finish.